nutrition labels can be tricky to read and there could be something hiding there. This hour, a nutrition expert is here with a few tips on what to look for. It's time for Good Day. From across the valley, this is Good Day. And if you're not already, it's time you started reading those food labels. A culinary expert is here with a couple of tips on what to look for. Up next. Also, Circus Circus. Hey, the next time you go grocery shopping, you may want to pay extra close attention to the food labels. There could be trans fat just lurking inside. So true. This morning, Marianne, with a culinary expert with what to look out for. I'm telling you guys, I'm a huge label reader. In fact, yep. usually it like ruins, you know, when I actually look at a label, I'll end up not buying something, even if it sounds like it could be pretty good. But there are things on the label you got to look out for. This is a Chef Gerard Viverito. He's a culinary educator with passionfish.org. And we've become good label readers, and we know we're supposed to look for trans fats. We but do. they're still in some things. Well, because the government has given us three years to pull all trans fats out of foods. The problem is you're still allowed to say zero trans fat and still have up to half a gram per serving. Really? Uh, popular ones, peanut butter. You think you're doing something good for your kids? Well, it's good fats, it's natural fats, yeah. you know, it's it's 60% peanuts, it's sixth ingredient here, fully hydrogenated vegetable oil. Here's one, Smart Balance. They make margarines, they make peanut yeah. butters. It's got great source of omega-3s, peanut butter, and then you know, natural oils, palm fruit oil. And everyone always asks me, what's that? Like you said, passion fish. Is I that seek, a good one? Palm, yeah, I seek the world oil? looking okay. for ingredients and in for fish for my nonprofit. And I came across it. I mean, look, what do you think that color's from? Um, I don't know. Vitamin A, vitamin E. This is the Excellent. highest source of tocotrienols there wow. is. It's just pressed right out of the fruit. And so this, this has gotten a bad rap lately because people think it's bad. Yep. Wall Street Journal on the 4th of this month was talking about how good this oil is from a sustainable country. Where did it come from? What, what plant? It's called the oil palm. An oil palm. Big, it looks okay. like an inside out pomegranate and it's this beautiful red flesh wow. that they press out okay. of the seeds. This oil comes out, very sustainable. Here's Use another this. one too. Or you mentioned uh, cereals, popcorn, peanut butter, margarine, and then look at this. Who it's doesn't breakfast. like french fries? I mean, I this love to french me fries. is. Courtney, huge french fry fan. <gasps> yes. This, this says you can eat the whole box. This is one serving size, so you get excited. Wow. How about this? I, you know, as an educator, take some potatoes, <laughs> boil them, pre cook them, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cool them down. Down, and then cook them in oil. Use palm oil, use olive oil, use, you know, something without all the trans So on that label then, does that also say hydrogenated this, your or Your fourth partially? ingredient is partially hydrogenated oil. Why are there more than even four ingredients in here? Right. Well,